Okay, Aether. Time to make a tutorial simple enough that the seven-year-old of the internet can understand it, but comprehensive enough that it actually teaches people how to make a plan in Trail Makers. Here we go. First, let's explain the main terms you need to know. For planes, there are three control directions. You have pitch, roll, and yaw. Pitch is when the plane points the nose of the plane goes up and down. Uh, roll is the rotation of the plane around an axis that goes straight from the nose to the back like this. And yaw is when the plane rotates like a car drives. So I will demonstrate those three controls right here. So right here is pitch, so up and down. I've got roll to the left and roll to the right. And I've got yaw to the left and yaw to the right, which are fairly unstable during flight. And so this is a plane by VOA, by the way. So that's what we're going to be using for the first part of this tutorial. Next, I will explain how planes work, which will help you make your own plane as well. The center of gravity is in front of the center of lift. This or the center of lift is behind the center of gravity. So as you can see, our main wings are behind the middle of the plane, where about where the center of gravity would be. However, it's only slightly behind, not too much. Uh, and what this does is it uh, makes the plane slightly nose down or pitch down constantly. What The reason this is good is because it makes the plane not nose up and stall. Because the main objective in making a plane is it wants to fly, not stall. So the horizontal stabilizer, which is this, these small wings in the back, are what create negative lift to help make sure the plane um, doesn't pitch down. And so what this does is it causes the plane to fly flat or pit or climb or dive based on how you adjust it with the pitch controls. So as you can see here, we have our main wings and our horizontal stabilizers, so we can either climb, or fly flat, or dive, however we want. There is another design of plane that I'm going to show you here. And so, this design is called uh, canard planes, and so canards are small are planes with a small wing in the front. And what this does is it creates lift in the front of the, a small amount of lift in the front of the plane, rather than, uh, <clears throat> rather than drag or negative lift at the back with horizontal stabilizers. And the reason this is good is because one, there's no extra drag or negative lift, so it's more efficient. And if you put the front wing at a higher angle of attack than the main wing, what it does is it allows the plane to not it allows the plane to not stall because the canard or the canard wing will stall before the main wing does and what that will do is it'll cause the nose to drop down slightly which will automatically cause the canard to not be stalling anymore and it'll make it much harder for the actual wing to stall this is a horrible horrible approach And finally, the last main part of the plane is rear vertical stabilizers. So that's these vertical looking tail fin pieces in the back here. They're usually just called tail fins, not vertical stabilizers. And what these do is they allow the plane, they stop the plane from yawing in the air when you don't want it to. And if you want to yaw, they are the control surfaces for yaw. So as you can see in this plane here from VOA, you can see if I hit Q and E, those are the things that move. And this uh, canard plane is by Ika Pika. So for your plane, you should make sure you have your control surfaces, which are the parts of the plane, parts on the plane that move 
for each control. So for example, in the front here on this canard plane, we have the pitch is the canards, the roll is these fins back here, and there is no yaw. And you need to make sure you have lift, which would be wing pieces, thrust, thrusters or propellers. You need to ensure that you have tail fins for vertical stabilizers or wing pieces, but tail fins work better. And you need to at least have pitch and roll. Um, if it's a small plane, you don't necessarily have to have control surfaces for those things, but you just have to make sure you have some way to do those controls. And yaw is optional. It's always cool to have it in a plane, but not necessary. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Making planes is a lot of just fiddling around with weight and thrust balance. For example, your center of thrust should be going through your center of mass. So as you can see here, all of these thrusters are at the bottom. You can see they're all orient uh, orientated down, like down so that the thrust part is the bottom half of the block. So that it's more likely to go straight through the center of the center of mass, which is likely on that same line. So... Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you make planes. If you have any questions, you can ask in the Trailmakers Discord, my Discord, or in the comments section, and I'll try to help you out. Happy trailmaking, and I'll see you next time.